in this moment, here you stand and here I am. Two about to become one. There's no other person I'd rather be one with. When I first met you, all I could see was a passionate heart full of love for God and people. Little did I know what I was getting myself into. I thought I knew what was best for me, but God had better plans in mind, and His better plan was you. You are a force to be reckoned with, the kind where anyone who crosses your path is challenged for the better. This is the greatest act of love you have done for me. Challenge me to love the Lord more in boldness, but especially to love you unconditionally just like Christ. Now I'm not perfect, thank God for grace, but I promise to live like Christ and love like Christ daily. Bram, I vow to be your golly wife with a little bit of spice. I vow to honor you, respect you, and cherish you all the days of my life. I promise to submit to your headship and use my strength to complement your weakness. I promise to stir you up for the Lord and challenge you in all ways. I vow to serve with you, pray with you, worship with you, cuddle with you, exercise with you, try new things with you, and glorify God with you in every single way. I promise to extend grace and forgiveness just as Christ has done for me. Most importantly, I vow to, re I vow to my responsibility of pursuing and seeking God first, and by His grace we will have a marriage that is centered around God and His unconditional covenant that gives life, joy, and hope. Brandon, I love you, and I will continue to fall in love with you more every single day. Kristen Nicole Leha, I've waited for this day for so long. For longer than we've dated, to be honest, I've always dreamt of my wife. Someone who is witty, joy-filled, radiant, beautiful, intelligent, persistent, courageous, sincere, caring, loving, family-oriented, trustworthy, and all in all perfect. I stand before you today and confess that those dreams were about you. But all those things that I saw and sought after were only the essence of who you were. Now, I truly know the definition of a perfect person. It is not the one who possesses all these qualities, but the one who possesses and prioritizes Jesus. Yes, you have indeed changed my definition of perfect. You are all that I wanted and all, the, all that God knew I needed. With an added dose of too much sass, if I may add. What a privilege it is to marry you. I vow with all my heart to love you and only you, to have eyes that are fully satisfied in your beauty, to treasure and honor you with my whole being, to die to myself daily so that when Christ comes, you may be exalted. I vow to be faithful to you. I vow to work on communicating well with you and not to walk away into an argument. I vow to let you put your freezing cold hands and feet under my shirt on my warm skin and not complain too much about it. I vow to continue to pursue you and to pursue God with you for the rest of our lives. I promise to love all the different versions of you as you continue to grow and change into the woman that God is calling you to be. I vow to never give up on my marriage no matter how hard it is. I promise to take care of you and to protect you and to pray for you and to shower you with my affection until my dying day or until Jesus comes back. I promise to listen to you while you're speaking and to seek to understand you better each day. The day you walked across the grass and fell, you said to me, this is my life, Brandon. Take it or leave it. Kristen, yes, I want it. I want it all and I'm taking it. I promise to pick you up when you fall down because of your weak ankles. <laughs> I promise to be your best friend and to continue to adventure with you till we're old and gray. 
I love you. Thank you.